Deep in Middle-earth, ancient legends echo. They linger in the air like whispers of a forgotten era. And this is where we delve into today, with the tale of a character whose existence spans centuries and whose deeds are inspirational. The golden-haired elf of the Noldor, Glorfindel. In the histories of Middle-earth, few names bear the weight of such profound continuity and mystique as that of Glorfindel. Known for his luminous presence and valorous deeds, Glorfindel's story is not just one of might, but also a fascinating study of narrative evolution within Tolkien's Legendarium. From his noble birth in the Undying Lands of Valinor, to his legendary duel with a Balrog that would seal his fate, and on to his miraculous return to Middle-earth to aid in the struggles against darkness. Glorfindel's character arcs across the ages are as rich and varied as any other, so sit back and relax as we unravel the threads of his immortal story, exploring not only the battles fought in the physical world, but also the enduring stamp of a hero whose life bridges the gap between myth and history. Let us begin. In the timeless light of the trees of Valinor, where the earliest tales of Middle-earth take root, Glorfindel was born among the High Elves, the Calaquendi. His journey begins in splendour and grace, in lands untouched by shadows that would later darken the world. Glorfindel was tall and powerfully built, a figure of ancient nobility with hair as golden as the light of Laurelin itself. His visage combined the fiercelessness of youth with the serenity of the wise, making him a paragon among his people. While not much is known for certain about his family lineage, it is speculated that Glorfindel might have been kin to Turgon, King of Gondolin, or even a descendant of Finwë's royal line through indirect ties to the House of Finarfin. These connections highlight his prominence among the Noldor, marked by his golden locks, a rare trait signifying his possible descent from the Vanyar through his forebears. Consider this description of him from the Fellowship of the Ring. Glorfindel was tall and straight. His hair was of shining gold, his face fair and young and fearless and full of joy. His eyes were bright and keen, and his voice like music. On his brow sat wisdom, and in his hand was strength. This clear portrayal underscores the celestial nature of Glorfindel's presence, embodying an almost angelic ideal that is echoed throughout his actions and deeds in Tolkien's Legendarium. Despite his noble status and the privileges it brought, Glorfindel's heart remained unmarred by the shadows of pride or ambition. His spirit was as pure as his visage, setting him apart even among the high-born elves. When the Noldor, driven by fury and revenge, committed the grievous deed at Aqualonde, Glorfindel alone stood aside, his hands unstained by the blood of his kin. This pivotal moment was a testament to his enduring honour and compassion, traits that would define his legend. As we follow Glorfindel from the serene shores of Valinor to the hidden city of Gondolin, his journey takes a heroic turn. Here, amidst the looming threat of Morgoth's forces, Glorfindel's true character would shine brightest. Encircled by unscalable mountains and shrouded in enchantment, Gondolin stood as a beacon of hope in an age overshadowed by war. Within this sanctuary, Glorfindel held not only a high station, but also the hearts of its people. His leadership and valour were soon to be tested in the fires of conflict though. The ill-fated day arrived when Morgoth's legions besieged the hidden city. As chaos engulfed the streets of Gondolin, Glorfindel's command was crucial in organising the city's defence, rallying the elves to stand firm and against their foes. As the version of the fall of Gondolin from the Book of Lost Tales says, the Great Market became deadly in the heat of battle, and it was here that Glorfindel's bravery shone at one of its most brightest. Amidst the clash of swords and the cries of the fallen, he stood resolute, a pillar of light against the darkness. If we again go back to the texts, this time with Tolkien's own words from the Silmarillion. Many are the songs that have been sung of the duel of Glorfindel with the Balrog upon a pinnacle of rock in that high place, and both fell to ruin in the abyss. This moment of supreme bravery is reminiscent of Gandalf's encounter with the Balrog in the Fellowship of the Ring, highlighting perhaps a recurring motif of heroic self-sacrifice central to Tolkien's epic narratives. But back to Glorfindel. 
Tragedy struck when that fearsome Balrog, a demon of the ancient world, confronted the fleeing elves. It was then that Glorfindel made his ultimate stand. Destiny called him to face this terror alone on a narrow mountain pass. Clashing atop the craggy peaks, Glorfindel and the Balrog fought with a ferocity that echoed throughout the ages. In a final, desperate effort to protect his people, Glorfindel drove the demon back, sacrificing himself to ensure the Balrog's defeat. Glorfindel's fall was not in vain. His sacrifice allowed Tuor, Idril, and the future hope of the elves, Eärendil, to escape, setting the stage for future victories against the darkness. His act of selflessness became a legend, celebrated in elven songs throughout all succeeding ages. As the tale of Gondolin's fall concludes, we see Glorfindel not just as a warrior, but as a beacon of hope and an exemplar of the highest virtues of the Eldar. His legacy, marked by his valour and sacrifice, continued to inspire many a people, even in the darkest of times. In the timeless halls of Mandos, where the spirits of departed elves ponder their earthly deeds, Glorfindel's soul shone brightly, again a testament to that valour and selflessness. The Valar recognised his noble sacrifice, and his spirit was granted a rare honour. Manwe, the king of the Valar, decreed Glorfindel be rebodied, with him also later to return to Middle-earth, not merely as a reborn elf, but as a being of heightened power and purpose. And his mission? to aid the free peoples in their continuing struggles against the rising shadows. And it must also be noted here that while he was in these halls, Glorfindel did become a follower of a certain Aloran, aka Gandalf. Now, arriving back to Middle-earth, sometime between the years 1200 and 1600 of the Second Age, during the tumultuous years following the forging of the One Ring and the rise of Sauron, Glorfindel was a beacon of hope and a bulwark against despair, aiding Gilgalad and Alrond in their struggle. His presence fortified the resolve of elves and men alike. To better grasp the full extent of Glorfindel's transformation and return, consider this from Tolkien's The Peoples of Middle-earth book. We can therefore reasonably suppose that Glorfindel, after the purging for forgiveness of his part in the Rebellion of the Noldor, was released from Mandos and became himself again, but remained in the Blessed Realm. For Gondolin was destroyed, and all or most of his kin had perished. We can thus understand why he seemed so powerful a figure and almost angelic, for he had returned to the primitive innocence of the firstborn, and had then lived among those elves who had never rebelled, and in the companionship of the Maya for ages, from the last years of the First Age, through the Second Age, to the end of the first millennium of the Third Age, before he returned to Middle-earth. This shows his role and how he would have been a formidable ally of Alrond, but also underscores his near-divine status, aligning him with the powerful spirits of the Maya. With wisdom deepened by his stopover in the Halls of Mandos and power that rivaled the Maya, Glorfindel took on roles that shaped the course of Middle-earth's history. His strategic insight and formidable prowess were pivotal in many battles and councils. Perhaps most famously, during the War of the Ring, it was Glorfindel who foresaw the perils of the path that lay before the Fellowship. His counsel at the Council of Elrond was instrumental in shaping the crucial decisions that would lead to Sauron's defeat. Glorfindel's prophetic words, born of the machinations of evil and the strengths of the good, steered the course of war in subtle yet profound ways. His vision extended beyond the immediate, contemplating the long arcs of destiny. We must also note here that Glorfindel had been wanted to be put in the Fellowship of the Ring. However, his presence was almost too bright and it would have become a hindrance to that hidden journey, and so he left the task to the other nine. And this turned out to be a good decision, as in the end, they succeeded. And in the aftermath of the war, as peace returned to Middle-earth and the age of the elves began to wane, Glorfindel's legacy as a protector of the realm and a guide to its peoples remained undiminished. His deeds became the stuff of legend, influencing generations long after his time. As we reflect upon Glorfindel's life and deeds, it becomes evident that his story is not just one of heroic actions and mystical rebirths, but also a profound narrative intertwined with the core themes of J.R.R. Tolkien's works. Glorfindel's character is a vessel for exploring the concepts of sacrifice and redemption, 
His willingness to face a Balrog alone, ensuring the safety of his people, exemplifies the ultimate sacrifice, mirroring the sacrifices seen throughout Tolkien's stories, from Frodo's burden to Aragorn's trials. Furthermore, his return from the Halls of Mandos, enhanced and empowered, speaks to the theme of redemption and renewal that pervades Tolkien's mythology. Glorfindel's rebirth is a testament to the idea that from great loss can come greater gain, a notion that resonates deeply with the cyclic nature of hope and despair in Middle-earth. Leadership, another pivotal theme in Tolkien's epic works, is embodied by Glorfindel through his roles as a military leader and a wise counsellor. His guidance, based on foresight and wisdom, helped shape the strategies that led to crucial victories in the battles against darkness. His ability to inspire courage in others, to lead from the front and to offer wisdom in times of need are qualities that make Glorfindel a quintessential Tolkien hero. These characteristics are not only pivotal to the plotlines of the tales but also offer rich insights into the values that Tolkien cherished. Glorfindel's story also prompts us to reflect on the nature of power and its use in Middle-earth. Unlike many characters who are corrupted by power, Glorfindel uses his enhanced abilities to serve and protect others. This altruism aligns with Tolkien's moral framework, where true power is shown through humility and service. As we consider Glorfindel's legacy, we see it as a mirror reflecting the enduring themes of Tolkien's works. Themes of sacrifice, leadership, and moral integrity. These are not only woven into the fabric of his narratives, but also serve as guiding principles for the characters within and the readers beyond the pages. And so there we have it. As our journey through the life and times of Glorfindel comes to a close, we reflect on the profound legacy of this legendary elf whose existence spans the breadth of Middle-earth's history. From his valiant stand in Gondolin to his wise guidance in the Second and Third Ages, Glorfindel's actions have been a beacon of courage, wisdom and integrity. His life serves as a testament to the power of redemption and the nature of hope amidst the darkest times. Glorfindel reminds us that true heroism is timeless and that great deeds echo through the ages, inspiring generation after generation. Whether facing down a fearsome Balrog or guiding the councils of leaders, his legacy is characterised by a selfless service and a profound commitment to the greater good. And I would also like to take a moment at the end of this video today to give you a quick update on The Guard, the short film that we are creating. Everything is going amazing, we have just shot block 2 and the rest of it should hopefully be shot soon too. As always, it is all the money from our Patreon that is funding this. In essence, it is a no budget production if you consider the large scale of film, but every pound that you give is a massive help to create an incredible story. I'm putting a couple of shots on screen now and some behind the scenes clips to kind of give you an idea of what's going on. So if you would like to help support it a little bit more to help push us over the line, then please check out our Patreon. Every little bit really helps. And with that now it is time for my question of the day which is, where do you think Glorfindel ranks in the list of the most powerful ever elves? Is he one of the best or maybe he flatters to deceive by some of his actions? Let me know your thoughts and opinions on this in the comment section down below. And now it is time to give a massive thank you to our patrons who continue to support the channel, you are all amazing. And if you have reached the very end of this video with me today and you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so, it would massively help us out. And why not drop a like on the video as well. And with that, all I can say is, thank you for spending just some of your time with me today and I will see you next time on The Broken Sword.